Hey yo, what's up everybody? I got this 2v2 deathmatch that went down on Memorial Basin. And it doesn't look good for us. We ended up losing this damn game. But yeah, it's gonna be against Spooky9 and Zub Zero. Most of you guys know who they are. If you're a high level player, if you're not, then you just watch. Pretty much uh, these guys, they always run double cutter. And for some reason when we play these guys, it's always on this damn map. For some reason, all, all the time. You know, I, I don't know what it is, but we always play them on this particular map. And I'm getting bored of it. I, I want to play these guys somewhere else, man, to be honest. But anyways, this map is fun. You know, it's always fun to play somebody on this map because it gets right to the damn point. You know, this map is just straight up. Buy your secondary and then go, you know, straight up go to war. Go straight up, start fighting. And that's what happens. You know, everybody buys a secondary base and starts rushing each other second. Which is what you want to do, because if you let it go up, then you ended up having... Like, it's, you know, that's what you got to do to actually... That's what happens. You got to put pressure right in the beginning. You know, that's what we're doing to Red. And what we do is, uh, I see Blood helps me out. We, we just pick anybody. We pick somebody. We pick somebody, and then we rush their secondary base right in the beginning. And then what these guys, what they would normally do when we play them in other games... Is they would try to defend their secondaries, and then they they learn that that doesn't work. You know, it's not working towards them. So you know, we probably beat them because of that. They tried individually rushing both of our secondaries, but we still double team one of them, and then that doesn't work because we actually play really good defense as well. So I mean, having loss after loss, these guys ended up learning what the hell we're doing. They learned that we're double teaming one of them, and then. Um, they capitalized on it. These guys freaking, they did the exact same thing. As you saw right in the beginning, I made a freaking elephant. Are you serious? I made an elephant accidentally. I did not make that on purpose. <laughs> you never know when you're going hella fast on the D-pad. You're trying to make freaking warhogs. And that's what you get. You get a fat elephant up in the damn battlefield. Just. <laughs> but anyways, that wasn't intentional. I didn't try to make that elephant. That was an accident. Kind of screwed me up there. But, um... But these guys learn what we're doing, and then they learn that we're actually double teaming them. So they decided to do the exact same thing. They're actually double teaming. They they chose to double team me on this game, and it was new to it was new to me at least because you know I didn't know what the hell to do for a sec. I mean these guys, since they since now it's an even playing field. You know we double team red, and then they double team me, and we took out each other's seconds. It's even now. It's straight up even. They, they made it even for them, you know, because we both lost our secondaries, and then now we got to fight for our lives and stuff like that. But I was actually playing more like if I already had the secondary. Like, I was playing like the reason I set my sparns to blue, I was just playing like if my secondary was never blown up, you know, for some reason like that. I don't know, and then I think that was a mistake. I should have never done that because I didn't even jack anything. That was the whole point, jacking it, but... I was I was forgetting that my freaking base was never actually bought and red was actually pushing up on me and I remembered at the last second these guys are double cutters so as soon as these these damn powers goes up like right now I'm taking precaution I'm dropping my D bomb right there I don't know what about icy blood actually icy blood is pushing up hella he's putting a lot of pressure on blue and he actually ends up telling me at the end of the game that he brought that base his main base down to to red bars and I never knew that. Yeah, and then he ended up getting pushed back once the powers goes up, and he he cowed everything. You know, he cowed the army just so he could bring the base down to red bars. And um, but I never seen it. I, if I would have seen it, if I would have probably, you know, you know, this guy is gonna be capping on my second. He's gonna take out my second. But if I would have seen it, I probably would have been able to help him out and take it out. But I never did that for some reason. I was too worried about red. And I was just worried about red and the double mag. And I was so worried about it that I I didn't play that. I, I needed to help Icy Blood out, I think, you know. And I never actually, you know, as Red, he, Red as, at least, he was putting pressure on my secondary. I never did that, too. As soon as the powers goes up, now I'm now I'm thinking about what the hell can I do. But it's too late now, man. I mean, these guys, they took out Icy Blood's main. They double macked it. Icy Blood can't do the same thing. He's Anders, so. He, and then it's not going to be the same. We can't have that opportunity like them. So we got to play really aggressive in the beginning, which is something that I did not do and then that's what ends up happening when you play these guys on this map particularly because they'll double mac you man these guys they love doing that and then that's how they win and it's a good strategy you know when we play double cutters when we run double cutter when me and I see blood play double cutter we do the exact same thing we did we double mac if we have the opportunity we're gonna do it hell it's a faster game win for us you know so we'll do it 
And, uh, yeah, so at this point, freaking, I just went to Red Secondary to retaliate, I guess. You know, I was trying to see what I could do to change the tide of the war, but nothing much is going to happen, you know, because they took out Icy Blood's main, so that's a lot more dangerous, and then they're going to take out my secondary again. So they got two bases taken out, a strong one, too. I mean, if they took out Icy Blood's main, that's a big plus for them. Me taking out Red Secondary is not a big deal. I mean, that fool... He can still do it with 15 pop or 25 pop, whatever he has, and still be, you know, keeping my secondary base down, especially the Icy Blood's main down. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter if you do the freaking math or whatever. I mean, if you, if you think about it, me taking out red secondary doesn't really mean much at this point because, you know, it just doesn't. I mean, they're going to, they're double cutter. They could double ODST. They'll just keep the ODSTs down until they won't let us buy the secondary bases. And then they'll stay up. They'll stay up, and then they'll rebuild. The, they'll rebuild, rebuild an army. Blah, tongue twister. I tried to push on blue right there, and that was a bad idea too. I was probably thinking that Baffle had no money or something like that. But that's I don't know. I mean, this game is way too early still. These guys probably have a few lumps of cash. If anything, is I'm the one that has no money because I'm buying money, but I don't got that secondary base to to feed me that money that I need for the tanks and all that. So, I mean, these guys, that's how they're going to keep me down. I mean, Red especially. Red's the, Red was the one that being more aggressive than me. Red was keeping me down by, by taking my base out, my secondary base. He made the Hawks and all that. I didn't. I was at Blue's main in the beginning, and I didn't really do much there. And I was kind of thinking, like, I had the secondary up. So, I was in, in a way, like, I'm putting it as, like, I was thinking, like, I was a little bit cocky. Like, no, nah, we're still going to win, even though he took out my secondary. Which, as you can see, that's not the freaking case. These guys, they're going to freaking, um, they're going to put a lot of pressure on us. And it doesn't look good at all. There's nothing much we could do. I, I know we lost the game in the back of my mind. Hell, my secondary is down. I think that fool ends up even buying it. He ends up buying my, my secondary to the point where it's either, like, save my main or go blow up the secondary base that's on my on my side of the map. Which is something that's hella dangerous. And I'm not going to beat it. I mean, Blue, Blue has an army. And Blue's constantly just bringing that army inside and... And taking out our pop, and that will jack one of my tanks right now too. I just seen that. That's all bad. So it doesn't look good. It doesn't look real good. Freaking red's gonna have the hawks flying around. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to retaliate. Freaking sending my little ODSTs to a second. But hell no. Look at that double mac. Here it comes, man. It's gonna just. It's a nonstop thing. I'm trying to jack red's tank, which I do, but they're gonna end up taking it out. And. um yeah, I mean, this game is pretty much over. There's nothing much I could do. Blue's about to mac a red. Doesn't matter. Yeah, they're about to mac me. Gone. And then he's, he's keeping me down on my knees on my second. He's going to go to my second. And then and that's it right there. You know, red did me good. Red pretty much, he got me on that map right there. We wanted to play these guys again, but we couldn't find them for some reason. I don't know if they got off or... Or ended up playing another another game with somebody else, but we couldn't find them. We only played them one time on that that night, and um, yeah, I mean we're always down to play these guys again. They're hella fun to play. I mean, hell, they could take out our mains and stuff like that. They they got some wins on us. We normally beat them all the time, majority. I remember always beating the majority of it, but they do end up beating us all now and then. And they're aggressive players and they're good, and they know what they're doing, man. So, hell, I mean it's players like that to make this game fun. Especially when they beat us, you know, I was kind of like, damn. I was kind of shocked that they, they took our strategy. I see Blood even said it. He saw Blue's Warhawk coming to my secondary. He's like, oh, they're double teaming, they're double teaming. And once he said that, I don't know, man. I mean, I've never had that done to us. And also, well, the thing I know is these guys did not make a single Cobra this game. They normally make Cobras on this map. They didn't make a single one. So, yeah, you know, I have eight seconds left. Believe it or not, I've come back of a game. I had seven seconds left, and I still came back, man. I, I think one of those games is online. You could actually look it up on my recent games. I posted it up. I had seven seconds left, and I ended up winning that game. That's crazy. But, yeah, I ended up resigning because I knew that we lost, and I'm just looking at their stuff. And then I see Blood is down on one base. I see Blood's actually going to clean out red. He's going he's gonna to make this game a little bit longer than it should be, but... You know, he, he, this is just how we play, you know, it's whatever. We're just having fun.
when we know we lose, we're just like, oh, whatever. He just wants to blow up bread. He just wants to mess up bread real quick. And I think he's going to quit after that. Blue's going to be working on his secondary, and then Red's just going to die. And once Blue's, Blue blows it up, then that's it. Red, Icy Blood's on a time limit. And that's it. Got about a minute left. But yeah, guys, um, man, if you guys are fans of Halo Wars, yo, just, just, just give a like, you know? If you, if you like, especially if you like Deathmatch, too. I mean, that's how rare is it that you guys get Deathmatch games online? Hardly ever. And, I mean, whatever, though. I mean, the reason we do it is just because we want to see ourselves. We want to see ourselves playing, which is hella fun because, like, back in the day, we would have crazy-ass games, man. We would have some crazy games. And we wanted to see them online. Like, damn, man, I wish we could, we could save that game, man. That game was tight. We were on our knees and we came back. That's why we wanted to see those games. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. It. And if you guys like them, then show some love, man. But, yeah, guys, uh, give a like, give a subscribe, whatever. Show some support, guys, all right? I'll see you guys on the next video.